regular game week within the game preparation and the planning and the scheming. And uh, a lot of reps for other guys, you know. I mean, I, I think guys this far, one, one of the things that we've done a great job with is when guys' numbers have been called, they've stepped in and made big plays and, uh, and performed at a high level. So, you know, a lot of the focus, I think guys see that now and understand that. So there's a lot of guys that might not get as many reps on Saturday have the opportunity to come out today, and they know they got to work because when that number's called, they got to be ready to go. I mean, guys like a quad Antoine that mm-hmm. number's called makes a big play. You know, I, like a, a Devin Desper, who to me this week didn't take a snap on the O-line, uh, but last week plays a whole game and helps us beat Texas A&M. And, uh, you know, so they don't – you never know when that's going to be called. So the maturity of the guys and some of our younger guys, that preparation that comes into it, that they're getting ready for their moment – and they know this is a huge week for them to get those reps and get ready to go. Related yes. to that, have the, have the most redshirt decisions made at this point, or barring uh, the expected? You know, I mean, it's it's tough. We had an injury Saturday. I'll give Des Harris is out for the year, mm-hmm. uh, ACL. So, you know, I mean, that's something there. I mean, we got some young linebackers that are sitting right there that are good players that I, I think are, you know, good enough to play. And now there might be opportunities for them to go play this year. Um, you know, so we're, we're still on the halfway point. We're getting close where I don't like to after this. Uh, but, you know, it'll be in the next two weeks probably that you decide. But there's there's always that opportunity for guys to go play and, and make significant impacts. Does this team have any weaknesses right now? Oh, we have tons of weaknesses. I don't know. I, mean, I watched the game film right there. We turned the ball over four times. Uh, we weren't very good on third down in the second half. Um, you know, we gave up a 99-yard touchdown drive. Uh, during the game, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that I think we need to really re- improve on as a football team. And, um, you know, and so, uh, but I do think this, what the team does is play very well together as a team. That, you know, the offense picks up the defense, defense picks up the offense, special teams, everybody plays very well together as a team. And when we need things to happen, they happen. You know, when we need a big drive, the offense usually comes up with a big drive. When we need a big stop, we get a big stop on defense. Um, and, uh, you know, and I think the guys all believe in each other as a team that way, and that's that's one of the things that's uh, that's helped us you talk about, so far. You talk about this team finding ways to win. When you, when you look at that, how much do you relate it back to last year at Arkansas where they really started to learn how to win? I, I do. I think, well, you know, it's a couple situations last year. And, and, you know, you look at the team from last year where we have a lot of the same guys here. Um, that played a lot of really good teams really close and then at the end found ways to win those games. And I think that confidence uh, really picked everybody up in the spring. And I, I think, you know, what happened is a lot of guys were playing and they were looking for Nico Whitley or something like that to go make the play to win the game for us or Perkins. Uh, you know, and I think the guys this year now, all those guys that have played, they said, okay, now it's my turn to go make plays. And it's not one or two, it's just a large number of them. And then when that's the expectation of practice, um, I think you see it trickles down and more and more people just expect to go make plays when, when their number's called. Do you have an update on